Hello, folks. I'm going to go through and do my best to glee. I'm going to go through the 120 levels in the uh, question mark tab as set up by Mr. Truffles again. Um, I've renamed what the tiers are. I think this is more indicative of um, how I'd rate the different tiers. And um, I'm just going to go from there. We are good. We are questionable. Occam's Razor. It's there here. We have not great for clickbait. Oh, you can actually read the um, text on the oh, of course, because the screenshot would have um, been hovering over the level level slide. That's good. Um, you got hyper complexity. It's up here in questionable. It's not a bad level, but it's particularly when I'm thinking about like the speed run for the tab, it's just a potential choke point. Track beneath the surface is also here, um, and I guess part of the reason, sorry, that clickbait is down here is at the gold. Um, it's not forgettable, it's very memorable. Um, the gold is the part that really sucks here. Uh, even worse is when you realise, well, after you've done the all gold, that um, you have to do it with evil ninjas again. That said, it's made up for the amazing sound of the toggles around the outside, so... Um, honestly, you're in here, you're, you're pretty forgettable. This is up here in good, um, and I think there's a little bit of personal bias. Uh, it's the level I opened up, like, that's my first, oh, my first secret level I've unlocked. I open it up and it's like, oh shit, it looks like it's going to be really hard. Um, and then finding out it's, it's not too bad outside one of the challenges with the, uh, the toggles across the top. But, um, yeah, anyway. So, some uh, experience bias in here. Let's quickly just uh, pull up sol solid metal gold down into awful. The level itself is completely fine. The except. Uh, two challenges involving the gold, with the challenge gated behind all of the gold collection. Collecting all the gold once with the death balls is actually not that bad. Um, Happen to do it too times minimum, uh, potentially after you realise that there's challenges linked with the old gold. Um, you do it, and then you, ah, oh, you managed, to, you grazed one of the toggles, shit, third time, fourth time. At that point it starts to really grate on you. Um, actually, you know what, I've just convinced myself it's not great versus awful. Uh, if we want awful... Uh, I'll get to it, Let's, we'll get there in order from here. Okay. Some backwards bullshit. Um, this is all right, actually. Um, I think it requires, yeah, uh, between mine jump for some of the gold, but it's front ended. Um, the no gold challenge is fun. Uh, the challenges themselves are fun, and it's uh, the level we found out that hey. You can actually cheese evil ninjas. Rust Disaster is great. It's not excellent, it's great. Well, I might need to rearrange things, but um, it's like a puzzle. And I like that. Textbook Inversion, it's good. Um, a bunch of different challenges associated with it. Falling down the right hand wall with all the gold is just. Mwah. Second Annual Nervous Breakdown. Look, it's a survival based level. Um, it's not forgettable. Forgettable is like, it's it's a level, it exists. Um, but it's not awful. So it'll sit in here. Um, I think it's supposed to be Salmon Run. Salmon Run's pretty forgettable. Um, a sideways Salmon Run, there you are. It's a bit more than Salmon Run. Lost the plot completely. This one's a bit weird. The challenge is a bit weird. It's to do with the toggle just before the exit switch. I don't know. It's, um, honestly, a little forgettable. MFA is questionable there. Um, figuring out what switches do what. The challenges are pretty fun. Um, it's good enough that it doesn't fall into not great um, to account for the bad mini drone whirling over here in the screenshot, so. Splatter in chief. Good level. 
Rocket Pressure for the gold collection. Oh, not gold. Oh, gold and switches. Challenges are good. Photon flash flashback. Not good. Not great. Um, it's just pretty meh. Can't get it free. That's forgettable. Um, it's one of those levels where I remember it because of the speedrun, but nothing else. Um, there's definitely a T plus around the, the right hand side, but it's kind of whatever. Cloud Colonist. Actually, the more that I look at it, um, clickbait gets moved down here. These are not great. Clickbait is a uh, level below that, uh, and the toggles around the outside don't make up for it. Zone of Avoidance. It's not great. Um, ignoring the challenge that everyone has issues with. Um, it's just the gold collection is long and drawn out. Um, base completion is too easy to be really memorable, um, and it's one below forgettable because it's got a precision challenge in it. Carol is pretty forgettable, all things considered. It's got a couple of nasty, or maybe one, I don't know, nasty challenge. I think the gold is a bit annoying as well. Yeah, 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 there's a single gold piece over here in the corner, isn't there, with the death ball. Psy Cyclone, also forgettable. Um, high scoring this one was annoying. Loco parenthesis questionable. Um, ah, sorry, I have some beer. It's um, it's, it's fine. Um, the team minus challenge involved over here in the bottom left um, makes it a bit more memorable than forgettable, but it's so over pretty quickly. You know, so questionable. Um, it's a bit of a collect everything type look. There's a few different challenges associated with it. Um, but there's enough going on that keeps it interesting. All numbers are imaginary is very forgettable. It's uh, literally two jumps and then there's a bit more to it than challenges. Stack Tracer, it's good. Um, there's a pretty awful challenge in it, but as a level, um, I think it's actually quite interesting. Uh, needing to play around with the death balls, you've got different options and what you can do with opening the switches and how you approach the challenges as well. Uh, you can do the C-switches and force the lasers to stop, giving you an easy exit, or a one where you're kind of following them. I think it's really good. Laser Chess is sadly forgettable. Um, it's memorable in the sense that it's, I think, the only one I can recall in the tab with laser drones. Maybe Chain Gun? I, I can't think of any Chain Guns. Chain Gun cha is in the question mark tab, so... Yeah. This one's really short, but um, I actually quite liked both the all gold and the challenges associated with it. Base completion is pretty snoozy, but pseudonym is a great level. Challenges are excellent and make you think um, engaging with materiality. It's questionable. Um, it's a hell of a lot better than solid metal gold. Um, the uh, what's it called? The O switch avoidance is not too bad at all. Um, gold's a bit annoying, uh, it's particularly across the top. But then the collect everything, yeah, there's actually stuff going on, whereas you're just kind of like, there's a snoozing a little bit over here. Uh, alien, I forget, can I read that? Infestation or something like that? Don't know. Um, oops, it's, it's in blue. Um, there's quick ways to do it, it's got a fun quick cycle, the challenges are interesting. This one's super forgettable, it's like literally three, um, two, you know, a few jumps, uh, and was one of the worst things to high school on the wall. Rocket Surprise, pretty forgettable, um, Rocket comes out at the start. Slashes, uh, not great. Gold collection, uh, toggles behind each of the gold, does not a good remix make in my humble opinion. Um, and then base completion is a little, oop, I'm heading to the left, oop, I'm heading to the right, kind of whatever. This one is up here. Uh, I think it's interesting what they've done with the, la uh, the lasers. I think the challenge is actually quite interesting. Um, but it's brought down from good because of the uh, the waiting game that kind of is involved. Um, I'm thinking here from a speedrun kind of perspective. This up, excellent level. Um, the collect everything challenge is a bit tricky um, but I think back and forth there's enough different ways to approach it there's enough threat that it's interesting 
Um, I think it's a well-designed level. Final Basin is good. I think it has too many challenge combinations that are too long. Probably could have done some consolidation, but there's enough variety in such a small level in how you play it. I'm thinking evils, I'm thinking um, toggle or gold avoidance. It's actually quite decent. Ninja wanted everything is not great. It's gold spam. Um, annoying to high score. Uh, yeah. Pika Bang. Good level. Um, some interesting moves required, or not required. There are some interesting routes you can do, things you can do to play with the rocket. It's short, it's simple, but it's just well designed. The ruins, it's good as well. The challenge is interesting, you really have to think about how you approach those toggles. Possibilities place is questionable. Um, the decision around the C switches in the bottom right, yes, I get it's for the challenges, but it doesn't feel quite right when you're doing it uh, for the first time. Torpedo, torpedo. Um, look, the all gold, all tops, I think it is. Um, it's just kind of blare. The gold is kind of blare. But it's not bad. <laughs> Remixed metaphors, which one is this? That's a horrible palette. Oh, this is the one with the death ball up here. Um, down here, it's kind of whatever. Atomic Dustbin is down here, a bunch of evils back and forth, pretty not memorable from a gameplay's perspective. Overproduction, not memorable, go go wedget, wedget. It's up here, it'd be good uh, if it wasn't for some of the up and down uh, mini drones down the bottom. I think there's enough to like, but at the same time it's not a bad thing when you're finishing up the level with some pressures from the evils. So. It's not quite good, but it's up here. V, 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 B uh, is good. Uh, zooming through this is a lot of fun. The G minus is a lot of fun. I think it's just a really good corridor drone level. Yeah, fun times. Hyper Death Ball, whatever. Death Ballad down here. It's pretty forgettable. You go around, you get your switch, you come back, kind of whatever. Hyper Space Harrier is good. Um, a lot of rockets keep you moving and the KRA for one of the challenges. It's very stimulating. stimulating. Um, I actually quite like it. Uh, with the evil ninjas it's a lot of fun. You don't know, this is bad. This looks horrible. The design is horrible, it's not clear. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's an absolute mess. I actually really don't like this level. Archipelago? Um, it's fine. Uh, actually, it's probably good. No, no, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm changing that to fine. Questionable is not quite right. These are fine. Let's do it this way. Okay, I'm much happier with that. Yeah. This is, um, is a rondesman? Is this some kind of pitcher plant or something? I don't remember. I guess it's a rondesman. No? No, a rondesman's the one with the C switches behind holes. Um, where am I at? I'm in the tens and I haven't hit X at 13 and a bit minutes. Probably keep things moving. Um, pretty forgettable. This one is fine. Um, there's a lot going on. The challenges are very interesting. Laser assisted comment. Uh, cognition is not great. Uh, a couple of the laser gaps are pretty bleh, particularly for the challenges. This one's forgettable because you finish it in two jumps, but the all plus is actually really good. Romper is fine. Gold collection is a bit of a drag, um, but there's something to it, you gotta think. Against the wall is fine, but forgettable. Um, I just said it, it's forgettable, let's bring it down. This is. Um, also forgettable. This one's forgettable. Strike four is bad. This one's good. Just moving quickly. You've got bounce box, good movements. You've got interesting challenges that affect how you uh, move through. I knew this is bad. Just how it's structured is not very good. The crusher, crusher's good. Bring me up, baby. 
all gold is really fun, all gold with toggles is really fun, the no gold no toggles is a bit good, but jump over here from the right to the to the switch. Um, but um, it's just lots of fun to play uh, and gold collection is really fun. Ah, oh, this is a horrible palette. You're here and forgettable. Um, I think from the base completion to jump up, get the switch and go over here. The gold requires a bit more, um, but it's not memorable gold, and there's a challenge where you need to plan out how you approach down here. Symbolic frog, it's fine. Um, yeah, it's fine. Not, not quite the levels up here, but it's pretty okay. This one's bad, long, boring. Not a lot of threats most of the time, except for the rocket in a couple of places. This one's great. Uh, Galaxy Uneasy, I think it is. Um, gold collection is interesting. E avoidance is interesting. Uh, toggles in the middle, it's just a good level. You are forgettable. You'll see switching here, or over here, you used to jump off to get the gold. Um, doing some chimney stuff from the bottom to get back up in, I don't know, is it like no gold challenge or to all toggles? Interesting. This one is bad. Back and forth gold spam, no thank you. This one's excellent. Top tier. Um, you've got fun, considered wall jumps and movement for base completion. You've got a bunch of routing required for the different challenges. Um, the way I did one of them with the jump from the exit up through the top left is a bit annoying, but um, you can front load that so it's not too bad. Across the sky is bad. This is the one you can just jump and finish it. This is bad. Continuous Singularity is awful. That's my single most attempted for completion of the tab. Um, the T minus C minus, I think it is, the C switch behind the exit switch is just horrible. This one's fine. Some gold collection. Um, some chimneying for some toggles in the challenge. Yeah, that's not a bad one. 12 big hack, here we go. The challenges here are great. You've got time pressure on the G minus, you've got different approaches, you can get the evil ninja early, you can come back for it. Um, it's just fun to move around in and nice little pockets of threats throughout the level. I forget what this one's called, but you have to go down here where the death balls are for all gold. That's forgettable. Upwards to infinity is bad. Um, that many laps, it's pretty snoozy for all types of completion, even though the all avoidance is interesting, but too long. This one is pretty good. Um, gold collection's fun. Uh, I had zero on this for a little bit. Uh, thank you, Eddie, for taking that from me again. I was uh, a little too burdened. Um, yeah, it's just fun. Lots of different angles for the rockets to spot you at. Lots of places to move about. It's just good. This one's pretty forgettable. It's a few jumps, avoid a death ball, whatever. Fun structured space uh, goes up into good. Time pressure. Uh, for the G minus T plus challenge. Again, lots of little interesting pockets in the level to play around in. You are very forgettable. You are a couple of jumps, no one cares. Likewise, you. Darren's is fine. This one is fine. You can move pretty quickly, but it's a bit of a pain for all gold. But... Oh, did I see another S tier level? I'll grace my gates. Yes, I did. AI Ant Colony is freaking fantastic. You can sit over here. Um, what's not to love? It's consistent cycles. It's um, you know somewhat reactionary speed as well for you. If you make a mistake, you hit a corner you don't like. Uh, the G minus is lots of fun. All gold, kind of, kind of in there with base completion. It's got a little shortcut as well up through here, through one of the toggles. Ah, oh, it's just so good. Alton is fine. Um, it's not a bad level. It's over pretty quickly, and um, yeah, it's fine. D Limited is bad. It's a survival 
um, survival level, and I don't really like that. You are fine. It's got some interesting challenges, a um, little bit interesting movement. Yeah. Um, quantify. This is the one that has the wall jump, one way equipped for the um, high school route. It's fine. The uh, one way clip kind of makes it a bit bleh, um, cheesing it, but it's fine. Now the challenges are interesting as well. Never whatever, low res cavern backwards. You got jumps, you got death balls, it's got some interesting uh, E shenanigans, evil ninja spawners in the bottom right. Good level. You're pretty. You're fine? No, you're uh, you're not great, sorry. All around pretty pretty forgettable. Time Lords, oh now nah, here we go. S tier right here. Um you're, you've got so many different ways to approach the level, you can tackle certain rooms first. Um you've got different challenges that play into the avoidance of the evils, some that require collecting them all. Some that require you to utilize the toggle room around here, and then you've got the lasers at the end with some evil ninja pressures. It's just so well designed, it's really good. Uh, the slight drawback is the no C switch or O switch, I can't remember, or maybe it's no toggles. Yeah, here, this little corner, this one jump. Uh, jumping into a test map for it though made it okay, but um, having that in the level was a slight detractor so it sits um it'll sit here uh, you've got crowding it's bad it's long it's boring i think consumer not great um over pretty quick not in perfect memory bad it's long altered it's pretty good it's fine if i say altered that can't be right it's like x schema i think uh, i think that's my, maybe what it says um it's pretty quick uh, from a speedrun perspective, but the toggles and figuring those out on the side is pretty interesting. I actually quite enjoy it, despite how minimalistic it is. Look around you is good. Um, the all gold is pretty fun. There's a few pieces you got to think about. Yeah, I like it. This one is color out. Um, it is fine. I know a lot of people really like it. Um, I think it's a bit too cluttered for its own good, but it plays well, so uh, it sits up there and fine. Ponderosa is not great. It is a really good level, really marred by a really shitty all gold no C switch challenge. Dark Castle. There's a lot of hype for Dark Castle, but honestly, it sits up here. Um, it's like top of the A's, not quite S tier. Uh, for me, it's messy, but it kind of explains itself to you pretty quickly. It's um, it's got strobe lasers which you can switch off uh, through some careful play. It's got interesting threats at various points of the level. Yeah, it's really good. Um, it doesn't quite fit up into here with these. And look, the more I talk about it, I'm going to bring this one down. It's towards the top of excellent alongside Dark Thousand. Authenticity is awful. Piece of shit. Exit switch. No thank you. Pass. Move on. Whoop. Uh -huh. Look a little back and forth with evils. It's really good. A lot of different paths you can take. Interesting challenges with the G minus in particular. Yeah. One who suttoned. This is very memorable. It is fine. Um, there's a lot going on. Some of the challenges are. I'll say adders, it's not a detractor, others are detractors. Base level play is okay, you've got some uh, you know, some toggles so you can approach it in different ways. And you can choose to or not um, collect the switches. Yeah, bunch of bunch of fun. Oh, I've scrolled past them all. Robert's intuition is good. Uh, well fine, more specifically. Um, everyone does this horrible thing where they, they wait for it to fire down here. And then they jump, and then it fires again. Nah, screw that, man. You come along here, you jump, you hover in the air, it shoots you, it shoots at you. By the time it's shot, you've moved along to the next piece of gold, you hover in the air, so much quicker. 
possible as hell is good. It's a bit of a cluster, uh, to be perfectly honest. When I say good, I mean fine. Um, it's a real cluster. And you first open it up and you're like, what the fuck is this? Um, but it's got some interesting combinations of challenges that force you to play it in weird ways. Uh, you know, around the lasers or how you get up to the top, whether you use the toggles next to the exit or not. Yeah, interesting. Logo location, if you get it done in a couple of jumps, whatever. One is not great. It's not quite bad, but the death ball RNG is a bit, bit of a pain in the ass. This one is fine. Gold spam, but um, it's not bad. Uh, plus the no gold challenge is really quite good. I think it's no gold. No gold or toggle, something like that. V, 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 8. It is a great level that is hard. Oh, where's it go? You can come up here. It, actually, it is actually really good. It is a really good level. Um, it's just hard, man. <laughs> it's really hard. Um, but it plays really well. It's fun to move through quickly. Yeah, the T minus is like ILS, but not so constricted and shit. Um, you know, you've got plenty of space. You've got different pressures from the moving drones. It's it's a really good level. Plascrete is fine. Where's my C? Um, a few different ways to approach it. Um, yeah, interesting. So getting hot in here is forgettable. Wild Abandon is fine, and I hesitate to say fine. Some of the laser snipes you get up in the top right corner really suck. Um, but it's done in quite an interesting way. Alchemy's entire shaving kit. Oh, this is the one I was thinking about when I was talking Occam's before. Oh no. Occam's Razor Razor is forgettable. Occam's shaving kit is fine. Perception is fine. Uh, I was deceived with the challenge. But um, it, as to why it's fine, um, playing with death balls, there's never too many outside of, I think, the G minus uh, in a, one particular spot, so you've always got enough time to adapt and, and try and read what they're going to do and control them. Um, and it's pretty short. If it was much longer or too many more death balls or anything like that, it'd probably get bumped down, but it's fine. This one's really good. It's really good. The gold being across the top's a bit eh. I know it's for one of the challenges, but kind of, kind of whatever. Getting in and amongst the middle, having that really cool skip you can do with the triple bounce block bounce land on the door. Oh, it's just got so many possibilities to it. It's really, 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 really good. Redacted is pretty forgettable. Like you get to it in uh, the speed run and you go, oh yeah, that's right. I've got to do a corner jump. Oh, okay. I'm done. Next. 360 no hope. Not so good. Overcrowded is awful. Um, it's my least... Should I say that? It has my least favorite challenge in the tab, uh, more so than Continuum Singularity. It doesn't respect my time. Um, the setup to get started on the, the challenge uh, for the gold, all of that, just awful. Uh, and when going back through the tab and trying to get on the leaderboards for every question mark tab level, it's the only one I didn't redo because I just hate it that much. This one's fine. Um, yeah, it's fine. And the Mad Adler is... I don't know where to land. Which is good. Uh, now I'm looking at the levels. It's uh, it's probably excellent based on the other levels that I've got. Now I'm looking, it probably sits a bit higher up. You... You know what? You're top tier. Yeah. I am just looking at some of the levels I've got around. I think we are. I think we're there. That's uh, that's my overall ratings. I'm 
don't have enough time to kind of go through and just sort within um, each of the tiers, but I think that's where I sit. Uh, I think my daughter's cried out a little while ago. She's still sleeping there, which is good, but she might wake up at some point. Not quite sure. Um, there we are. Question mark tab. I'm actually quite internally surprised at how many are uh, D and below for me. I remember quite liking the tab when I first went through. Maybe it's just due to the quality of the standouts as opposed to the overall average quality of level. You know, I've got things like this one in here. It's not forget it's forgettable because to finish you jump up, the door will jump and land back in their thing, but the challenge is interesting, but it's not too hard that you spend too long on it and Yeah, I don't know. Uh Occam's razors razor uh it's horrible to high school. Absolutely shocking, hate it. But it's fine as a level. Anyway, I'm not gonna ramble too much longer. Uh, I promise you. I will uh leave it there. Thank you, Weedy, for setting this book.